One more for the smoking. Not a bad looking fish. They are beautiful. Too bad they're so tiny in here. I'm Zachary Fowler. And I'm Greg Ovens. And this is the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Canadian Rocky. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch and cook it. The 30 Day Survival Challenge Season 2 Canadian Rockies has been brought to you in part by Dr. Squatch Soap, Hidden Woodsman Gear, Go Prepared Survival, Outdoor Vitals, Wazoo Survival Gear, Simple Shot Shooting Sports, and Grim Workshop. Check out the link in the description below for the gear video of the 30 Day Survival Challenge. Oh, that felt good. I had a nice little sleep in. I need to catch up on some rest. Getting here took it out of me. Lots to do that it took to get us to this point in our first night out. But uh, rain doesn't seem to be slowing up. So I guess there's a point when the rain's just not letting up. You gotta decide uh, the stuff that needs doing. Fire's going, coffee is made. Greg was up before me, he hallooed as he went by. He's on his way down to the water, see if he can't catch us some breakfast. And sprinkles feel like they might be letting up. Let's hope so. But now priorities, priorities. How much coffee did he leave me? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> I guess we both like our coffee. You're gonna have to talk him into We gotta make bigger cups. <laughs> well, he's doing that. I'm gonna rig up a tarp, because we have no idea whether the sprinkles are gonna continue or if they're gonna stop. Sprinkles are going to continue, or if they're going to stop. There we go. Now we got a nice little area. Kind of covers the seats here. And yeah, nice. It even covers most of the fire pit. And it's just the edge of it down here. So if we do burn a couple holes in it, at least it'll still be fairly useful instead of burning holes in the middle of it. We should have bought a cheap tarp for this, but uh, we already had these, so we thought, what the heck? And I like this. It's got these cool little tensioner clasps on the corner, and the tarp actually came with a nice little bit of line attached to each one of these, ready to go. That is sweet. It's not meant for this sort of thing, but we're using it for this. It's kind of uh, just like our hammock covers, like I said before. It's exactly like it. They're meant for one man sleeping underneath of an ultralight tarp. Bring your sleeping bag and a rolled up mat and you go out there in the woods, set up your ridge line for your tarp and then stake down your other corners and you sleep underneath of it. You'd be styling. And right now, we're cozy. Won't be getting dripped on. I'm gonna head down, join Greg, see if we can't catch some fish for breakfast. There we are. Yeah, how'd yeah, you do? Well, I got two little guys. Oh yeah? I mean, nice. I haven't been here that long fishing. So no, no. That tarp set up real quick. Okay, well that's so, good. Yeah, we got that all set so, up. Two beautiful little trout. Little cut, or brookies, I mean. Little brookies, yeah. That's all that's in this lake. Yeah. So how you been fishing it? You got the uh, spinner. Just the spinner. Yeah. I just let it sit on the bottom. Yeah. Just pull it once in a while, pull it a foot, let it sit, pull it a foot, let it sit. That's what I was doing last night when I got those those last three right, right off the bat. Yeah, they seem to be feeding on the bottom, right? Yeah, except for all I had is a hook and a worm, and then I got my hook caught on a little tree branch, and when I untangled it, the hook wasn't there anymore, and I was like, oh. 
Oh, hey, I did a little video skit over there. Yeah. And I found two fly containers with flies in them. What? Yeah, somebody left here. Like in a rotten bag over there. It's a it's a uh <laughs> it's a trend here. You left your pole here yeah, for a little bit. I found my pole and then I found somebody else's and box of flies. Somebody else was nice enough to leave some uh f flies. Yeah, Unreal. So that was good. I I've always wanted to do a YouTube video on that. I thought like um scuba diving for for a tackle box called like a uh, snorkel tackle box or something. So you I go in to all the famous the, yeah, famous the, spots, get all the lures and have a whole tackle box built out of just and then do a catch and cook with it, you know? Right. That'd be cool. Right. Yeah. What do you think? Leave it in the comments below. Should we do that one of these days? Looks so like yesterday I got a little four pound tippet on the end of, with a sinker up here, hooked to my uh, regular 10 pound line. And then I got this, I don't know what size hook this is. Let's see, a very tiny hook. I'd have a smaller one if I could, a size six. I'd like a smaller one if I could. And I just zing it out there and scoot it across the bottom a little bit at a time until I get a, catch a fish. There we go. Another one? Jeez, he's just reeling them in over there. <laughs> Got one. Oh, more of a bait size. Are we keeping bait ones? <laughs> little guy, little guy, not much to him. Beautiful little fish, let's put him back. Swim, go free. Tell your friends though, it's an all you can eat worm buffet. Jeepers. He found the sweet spot. Well, <laughs> no, because then I wouldn't have an excuse <laughs> if we switch spots and I don't catch anything there. <laughs> Greg's slaying him over there. He's just like one right after the next. Oh, I think I got a big one this time. Or a big fighter. One of the two. Uh, did he get off? Nope, I got him. <laughs> well, a big, big fighter. Big for this lake. <laughs> I'm like, eehoo! Alright. There we go. That's about the size of the ones we were catching yesterday. That's an eater. One down, five to go if I'm going to catch up to the master. <laughs> Oh, look at that. There we go. Our tarp is also a water collector. That works. Did you see that? The water collecting? Yeah. yeah. I collected some. Oh, you did? Yeah, for coffee. Oh, no kidding. Smart. Well, I came back with my one fish. <laughs> I'm going to put them on to smoke, I think, and then go back and, and catch some more. That's not going to do much. <laughs> I think it's a little high. It's a little bit on the high side, huh? Well, Greg's already got his limit. He got five. I got my one little fish. I gotta get some worms and go back out there. I got my line still out there with some gills on it, but I only caught one fish yesterday on the gills, and the rest of them are all on the worms, so. The worms are definitely, worms for the win almost all the time, huh? That's what I find works for everything around here. Creeks, I know, and whatever. almost everywhere else in the world too. It's like worms. Or worms, grasshoppers. But... Worms or grasshoppers and uh, grubs. Yeah. Grubs, grubs work pretty good too. Yep. Grubs, because they almost stay on the hook better. Because when you hook them, the cartilage in it, in this, they last a little bit longer. Yeah. So, get some worms. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody really bushcrafted up a paddle there. That looks alright. Look right. at that one. <laughs> it's a <laughs> duct tape together. It's or? like gaffer tape and uh, and a piece of stick and split a y wood stick. and a stick with a Y. Well, that's a good idea. That's clever. What is
Jeez, it keeps letting up on the drizzle and then picking back up again. Not too bad though. Just enough to be a little bit frustrating, but not enough to make me want to gripe. One more for the smoking. Not a bad looking fish. They are beautiful. I bet they're so tiny in here. be five. I want to see if I can get the biggest one possible for number five. I got something special for my last fish catch of the day. I just had this idea. I got a little hook, a little line, sinker, hanging from the GoPro. GoPro bobber. Let's see if it works. Did you see that? If you blinked, you might have missed it. It actually caught a trout on camera. And the worm's right here. And just in case you're wondering, that's a sinker. This might work. I got four fish. That's not too bad. That's all I got today. Little guy. All little. I made it back over here just in time. Or maybe not just in time. I look like a wet cat right now. Uh, you do too. <laughs> we both look like a couple of wet cats. A little bit wetter and a little bit wetter as the hours went on until all of a sudden when the rain picked up, I was instantly drenched. I haven't had anything to eat today. I'm always surprised that when I'm doing something like this, how, how not bothered I am by eating once I get into the rhythm of things. Like if I'm at home, I was like, I'd just be like, oh man, I'm so hungry. I want to eat, you know, I'm going to go go to the fridge and just make myself a sandwich you you know yeah you take it for granted when you're at home yeah I'm gonna run up to the grocery store get some wings throw them in the fry later and some blue cheese and, you know, not... yeah, that's enough talking about food now. <laughs> look at the size of that thing it's so tiny six inches <laughs> it's not my, I'd probably have more calories if I ate my thumb right now <laughs> There we go. I think my fish is nice and done. All right, fish time. <laughs> this is so tiny. It's like, can't get over how tiny they are. They're so tasty though, super tasty. Lord, thank you for this food and this rain. Make it go away. In Jesus name, amen. <laughs> Oh, nailed it. Bones and all. There we go. That's the only thing that's left. I ate the whole head. Because I cooked it just right, so it crunched up. And I tell you, that tail fin used to be my favorite thing, but these little ones. Cook them up like that. It was smoking for about four hours, kind of just getting some smoke onto it. And then searing it that last little bit on the super eight in the heat. Everything crunched right up, and the flavor of that fish head, just eating that head. Mm. Doesn't that just bring back memories? We knew that when we came to this lake, we were hoping to catch a bunch of little ones and be able to smoke them. And then as the weather gets better, we'll work our way further and further into the wild, get up there into bear, ter bear territory and build our fortress in the trees to where we're gonna be hiking into some special lakes and things like that. I hope you don't get too bored too quick. 
because we're just getting started. Cheers. All right. The beautiful rain. <laughs> what do you do? I don't know. Let's hope it lets up. Well, I keep hoping so, but it's not looking like it today. Yeah. That's hot. <laughs> That's too hot. That's too hot. <laughs> Who says we're not living it up? We got running water. <laughs> Wash our hands. <laughs> you gotta find something to always be happy about. Cause there's always something. Not much else to do. It's about seven o'clock. Stays late here till about 11. I put a little mark in here for every fish I caught. So I got the fish symbol. And then I'm gonna start adding the marks. I'm up to nine so far. I got this cool little knife. It's a neck knife. That a friend of ours who was an alternate for a loan made. And it's got a little, little fire steel right in the butt of it. Thank you, Robert. He's always inventing really cool stuff. He had this uh, cool axe um, chopping knife tool. It was like his multi-tool for like everything when we went out there. Like I said at the beginning, gear video linked in the description. That way we can go into more detail without taking away or slowing down the adventure. Unfortunately, it's not ready just yet, but it'll be linked in every video down in the description once it is live in like one week. If it's going to be really rainy, we're going to do a lot of carving. Oh, doing some, yeah. <laughs> we'll carve a whole chess set. Well, you could do that. And then you guys could just sit there and watch us play chess oh. in the rain for hours and hours. <laughs> no, hey, I got an idea. You carve the chess set and I'll play. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'll play with you. You like chess. that? Yeah, I'm good at chess. All right, good. So I don't know how many squares there are and all 16. that. Oh, you know? Uh, see, Greg knows. We can make a chess set. Ooh, I know. And the chess pieces, they should be, you know how you make them like different things for some stuff, right? Like, you, they're still kings and queens, yeah. but ours could be trout. So you got, yeah. you got your, you know, a certain trout for your, you know, your king. Like, yeah, yeah. like the bull trout. Yeah, you got a bull trout for the king or the, oh, oh no, the king and the queen should be like the bald eagle and the... Oh, now we're getting carried away. <laughs> we're gonna need more than 30 days. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's cool. This is a fun little knife. Good thing I don't believe in jinxes. He just is like, it's gonna rain all night. Actually, who cares if it rains all night? It's good weather though for maintaining your knife blade, keeping them sharp. Keep your knife sharp. If women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you with a sharp knife. <laughs> yeah. Right? That's right. <laughs> I'll have to throw the wooded, wooded beardsman under the bus. But he said it. And I edited it out of the video. So you can take this as secondhand uh, gossip that uh, I'm sharing that doesn't count or something. But he's, I, I was editing the videos the other day for the Wilderness Living Challenge. And he's like, He's like, yeah, I'm not very good at sharpening knives, but you know, I mean, as long as you know what you're doing, you could still do it with a dull knife, you know. I know they should be sharp, but <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, what? What kind oh. of sentiment is that? This is the way he said it. It's just so hilarious. It's mm -hmm. like, just one of those things. We all have our blind spots. Yeah. You know, and you know, uh, I I have been very lax on trying to keep up with my plant knowledge. I'm hard at memorizing certain things. Like visually, I memorize things really well so I can remember um, plants in my area and things like that. And I tried to study plants of the world and I was meticulous about it for a couple of years and I just let all that slide. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, this, you can't remember everything. And then even if you know a plant, you forget what maybe other uses it has or this or that. Mm-hmm. 
and then to try to remember the Latin oh. name and this and that. No, well, much oh. less for me with my dyslexia. I read them and I'm like, yeah, that's a bolita, and and then. And then I like say it in front of somebody else. It's a uh, knowledgeable. And they're like, you mean a bullet? You know? Or I'm like, oh yeah, that that, that too. And like, I, I don't know. Everybody it, pronounces things differently. How do you pronounce it? Well, some people I've heard them call them bolitas, huh. but that's not even right. So I just make up my own names for everything. It doesn't matter as long as you know what it is and that it's not poisonous. But yeah. Call it whatever. Yeah. But like I said before in uh, other videos. Don't don't take some YouTuber's word for it, you know. Research it yourself. Well, of if we course. show you something, we say something. Don't, you know. Make sure you double check you double, it. You double, you know. Double check it. Yeah, you should be learning from books, not just from watching. Uh... Yeah, stop watching YouTube. Go read a book. <laughs> <laughs> I, after you finish all of my videos. Yeah. Game on. Rain's letting up. Go down. See if that GoPro has a fish. If not, I got one more that I can catch. But my pole, I've already let one go like that. Um, and technically, I put nine marks onto my pole. So I gotta catch one more. I, ha I forgot that I had caught and released one and I still had one on the GoPro to uh, see if it catches one. Let's check that out. Well, I don't see the GoPro moving all around. What is that? Beautiful water. And GoPro's right there. Haul it in, see if there's something there. Nothing. Unfortunately, it caught nothing on the camera. Even with that juicy worm hanging there, not a single fish came by. And it was in the area where they were passing through and I was catching them. So maybe they were afraid of the GoPro. I don't know. Didn't work. Still got that one more fish I gotta catch. I, otherwise, my. My smoking stick with the nine marks is a lie stick. A stick of lies. Can't have that. Oh, got my number five for the day. All right, little guy. Number five. Year number five. They're all so tiny, but oh, so tasty. All right, back, I brought my catch back. I got my limit, he added that to his little smoker that he's built. You'll have to watch uh, his video if you wanna see how he did all that. Pretty obvious, but. I tried to think of how to well, say you, something. You could at least <laughs> watch me get wet making it. Yeah, yeah, watch <laughs> him get wet and miserable while he makes our smoker. Just, so we can smoke our fish and have some tasty fish for tomorrow. Yeehaw. <laughs> so much for that. We got a little bit of a reprieve and now it's starting to pick back up again consistently. But we got our fish on smoke and we both caught our limit. And now I can go to bed knowing that I did all that I could for today, pretty much. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. I am in. So nice. Ooh. Where's my, there we go. I gotta set up my pillow. I didn't set it up last night, but uh, yeah. Got my pillow. <laughs> Just cause we're out here doesn't mean I can't sleep in style. Yeah, that is nice. It's fogging up in here, something fierce. It's so warm and so cozy. I would not want to be out there sleeping on the ground no, thank you. It's like 9.30. Not all that tired. I'm probably going to do a little bit of journaling. And I got my Bible. Do a little bit of that. Hang out in my hammock for a bit. And then go to bed. Get some sleep. Let it rain. Maybe tomorrow it'll stop. There's all kinds of things we want to get up to. There were some uh, plants that we've been seeing all around that would be great for harvesting. So we got our fish on to smoke. We were doing pretty good. It's kind of a slow, slow go when it's all rainy like this. It's hard to, hard to accomplish a lot. And uh, especially with the filming, it's hard to be creative as you're getting damper and damper. And 
partially that's my fault because it was such a slow rain all day that I chose not to put my rain gear on and then I ended up spending the later half of the day just kind of damp and like not very motivated because of it. So I'm going to go to bed after I uh, spend some time in the word. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Fowler out.